Hi, I had a speed bump this week, uh, really hit a rough spot, and I thought, let's have a little chat about the hard days, the days where we hate everything we're working on, because that happened to me, and I'll tell you right now, spoiler alert, I have no easy answers, there's no snap your fingers and this is going to fix it, but maybe it might help to know that you're not alone. So some of you might remember that I have been working on this freeform textile art piece, and I really, I'm enjoying it a lot, and I was kind of trying to think about something else that I could work on. You know, I could only do bullion knots for so long. I thought, well, let's pull out something else and practice some stitches I haven't done a lot of and get a little better at it, and then not necessarily that they would go on this piece, that I would put them someplace else. And that's where I messed myself up. I mean, I totally messed myself up. Now, I've got a lot of dyed fabrics that I absolutely love. So I pulled them out and I thought, well, let's just start stitching on them. So I did. I don't even know which way is up. I don't know which way is anything. I liked the colors of the threads with the paint that was on the fabric. I was so excited to kind of start playing with this one. And, oh, I've already, I'm looking at it now and I'm gonna start even beating myself up even more. I'm like ready to just toss the whole thing because it's puckering, I wasn't paying attention. And don't tell me to use an embroidery hoop because it's not going to happen. I can tell you that much right now. Um, but I just, th this just like froze me, absolutely froze me. I was having fun. I was doing bullion knots. I was doing a little scroll stitch. I was doing lots of knot knots, my feather stitch. This is a Portuguese knot stem stitch. It was great until it wasn't anymore. So I said, well, forget that. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this piece, which I had only started doing some little seed stitches on, and I had done some little running stitches on. So I thought, well, okay, I'll try my little stem stitch over here. Okay, I'll do some feather stitch. I like that. All right, that, I'm, I'm doing okay. Then I decided to, you know, punch some wool roving on here, and the colors work great, but it's going nowhere. And of course, it's not done yet, but mostly what I did was went bad Susan. You know, it stinks, you, you have no idea what you're doing. And I know I can't be the only one that has like this. I mean, we all have this doubt and, you know, I've been talking about a lot lately because I really think that I walk with doubt all the time, all the time, and most of us do. So it's just, this is basically you're not alone thing. Then I decided I was gonna start on this piece. It's huge, right? I love the fabric. This is one of my painted fabrics, or actually this is one of my wipe up paint cloths. And then I dumped it in with some other stuff I was dyeing. I had this whole thing I had started to lay wool roving down on and was doing the little needle punching, which is great. Um, it's nice to be able to hold it you know, partially on the fabric and not worry about where it's going anywhere while you make up your mind. Then I came in and I started ripping it out. Um, I don't know where I'm going to go with this. It's not going anywhere right now. But, and at this point, I just kind of said, okay, screw it. We're just going to put everything off to the side and forget it. Like I said, I have no easy answers. Um, this is the maker's journey, the maker's dance. We take one step forward, we take two steps sideways, and then we throw our hands up in the air and say, what next? For me, it meant thinking about something new. So I pulled this out and I was thinking, well, maybe I would just kind of start stitching some things down. And I'm, I'm really liking the idea of this. I'm going to I'm gonna play around with this a little bit because I think I think this can go somewhere but it still felt like I was trying to do too much so I wanted to make it smaller so I grabbed I grabbed a piece of fabric and this is small this is only about eight inches square and just started laying some things down on here and stitching with it and sharing this in my live stream the other day and we talked about a lot of the things that might happen with it. I'm thinking I might add one more piece over here. And I found my joy in the stitching again. I was able to say, okay, this is part of my process. For whatever reason, it's not the time to work on those right now. And it's okay. It's just, it's okay. And I guess th the whole point of this video is just to say, you are not alone. And I'm not crazy for thinking that I stink because sometimes we're doing stuff and we all think it stinks. And it just means put it away for a little bit. If you can, like this one, I just keep setting someplace that I can see it every time I walk by it. And I had to start something else because I, I was in this funk and I was afraid 
to go back after I'd done all the work on this. I did not want to go back and work on this and feel like I messed it up. And if, if you work when you're in a funk on something that you've put a lot of time into, you might get disappointed. Now I'm ready to go back and see if I can finish this because I can start to see the finished picture in it. So like I said, the whole point of this is just to say you're not alone. Don't worry about it. It happens. We get frustrated. Um, for me, what helped was talking to friends. You know, I was really grateful for my Wednesday live stream group that I was able to chat with you guys and talk through it and just kind of bounce ideas off of people. I had a really good time working on this last night and I'm going to work on it some more today. I wish I had an easy answer for you. I wish I had an easy answer for me because, you know, I hit these road bumps and it happens. It's, it's the, I mean, if it doesn't happen to you, holy cow, do I envy you. But I think for most of us, it happens. We start to doubt our work. And I think it's when we're kind of on the crest of starting to do something new. We're starting to grow a little bit. And those little growing pains, we don't trust them, right? We haven't been there long enough to say, ooh, yes, this is where I want to go next. So, I mean, doing something like this was easy for me. Doing something a little more detailed like this was a stretch. And then suddenly I wanted to go someplace else and I didn't know where I was going. So trust the fact that each step is going to inform the next step you should take. Trust the fact that you have surrounded yourself with people who support your work. If you don't have that kind of a supportive environment, I invite you to join our Facebook group because I guarantee over there you're going to get support for whatever it is you want to create. But, but this isn't a pitch for the Facebook group. This is a pitch for you and for me to believe more in our rights as creators to go out and make our kind of art our way just because it makes us happy and to not worry about whether we're doing it right or wrong. And if you hit a roadblock, put the stuff aside and start something new. That's all for now. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.